Good morning. Hey, how you doing? All right, so if there was one thing that you would say that me and you are both really good at, like really, really good at, I would say, I would almost call ourselves experts. Buying things we don't need? Would that be what it is? That's one of them. Okay, so buying things that we don't need, I, I'm gonna say that is. Making videos about things that we don't need. That we don't need. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So uh, as you guys know, the giveaway ended for the Mark IV Supra or the truck. And it's gonna be about two weeks until we announce the winner. We are not Amazon Prime. Well, we can't ship out your stuff in two days to your door. Stuff will be shipping as fast as we possibly can, as fast as we could get it. And we will be contacting the winner via email or call, not Instagram, not Facebook, nothing like that. We will call you or email you, nothing else. So if somebody else messages you, that is not us. But we are going to pick up a, uh, a new rig, a new unit, whatever it is. Tell them what it is. Well, we drove it yesterday and uh, I don't know, there, isn't there like a song about like a, like a, a big block Chevy or something? Oh, I'm sure there's a few. I know there's something that I'll says like, like my box Chevy. Some, uh, I don't know, it, it's got a big block. It's a freaking C10. It's a hell of a deal. So I just paid the man. He's had this thing like 25 years or so. This is a 454 that is board 30 over, so it's a 468. Edelbrock intake, it's got a carb shop carb. You can see it's got some nitrous set up on it already that hasn't been, uh, hasn't been teed in. So it's got a fluid dampener. It's got some different pistons, 10 to one. It's got ARP studs in it. It's got some roller stuff. It's got a cam, it's got headers. Northern radiator, she's a, uh, She's ready to rip. So this is a 64. Short bed, fleet side, which is uh, what I, I initially wished mine was, but yeah, we're, uh, I already paid him. It's got some ET streets on the back. It's got a turbo 350 on the inside of it. Got some gauges. The, everything works in here other than the temp. temp. We have a, a temperature gauge over here, oil pressure, all that stuff. So we're, uh, we're gonna hop it in and uh, I'm gonna drive it home. Gotta actually slam the doors, I guess, on this thing. Oh, we got the lap seat belt. If I could pull it out. Okay. We got seat belts. We got a freaking 500 horsepower big block Chevy. Yeah, these seat belts are sketchy. I don't think you ever use this one. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. All right, neutral safety switch. How you doing? No power steering. No power brakes. <laughs> but we got a Ford with it. Oh yeah, three thousand stall.
the Z06 to the Corvette. It's obviously not as smooth, but it's like, you can just tell it has like these big, gigantic like balls like, like underneath the hood. You gotta watch people pulling out in front of you.
It's fitting. Yeah. You like? Oh, hey, honey. Needed, yeah, yeah. What do you think of this thing? You needed it. Is it ripped? I, buddy. It needs an off. It like the way it. I don't know. It, it just has nos. just like this sack. Like it. You just give it gas. And it's just like. Like it just kind of like. Yeah, I, I see it. I can. I'm glad I bought it too. All right, well, uh, maybe we'll take Jamie for a ride. Hey, do you have kids with you or no? Oh, how are you doing? You want to go for a ride? All right, she's going she's gonna to go for a ride. Both three homies across. With, like some real Julio in the back. <laughs> Big block, buddy. That's what I sound like. That's what Big it sounds block. like. Is that what it sounds yeah. like? Does it sound good? Yeah, it sounds great.
brother take this thing for a little rip. He is, uh, have you ever, 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 ever actually driven a, a 454? Oh, I've driven several of them. Well, this is going to be the best one. That's why I like them so much. That's how my channel got its name was from the Redneck Man 454 in the flesh. From the Chevrolet 454. Alright guys, 
So that is uh, is my big block. See, got that Holly carburetor on it. So just kind of pulling it off and looking in there. Uh, if you guys did not see when uh, when we were driving it, when my brother was driving it, kind of cutting out a little bit. Uh, I was talking to so James, my buddy with Build Tune Race, that YouTube channel. His dad is actually local. They're both local, and um, he like that's what he did was like nitrous big block Chevy carbureted stuff. So he knows a lot of stuff about these things. And I just got off the phone with him a little bit ago. So he's going to come over tomorrow and uh, kind of go over this thing with me and uh, you know, just double check. And you know, I was talking to him about the timing. So the timing is basically set at 32 degrees. There's no vacuum advance or anything. Um, you can see where the intake and exhaust, it has the valve lash on there, like I think 16 thousandths or whatever. Um, so thing seems like it has a lot of cool parts. It's a really, kind of simple but you know 468 big block it's a, a 454 punch 30 over and uh, super clean setup it sitting down here in the shop it's kind of cool like looking underneath it and not seeing like any oil or anything like that leaking um, I just actually ordered a little T fitting right here this is 8 and line and this has a 4 and line coming off it so I ordered a little T so what we're gonna actually do is uh, hook up the nitrous on this thing so uh, this Friday night or basically every Friday night at our local track we have during the summer they have Friday night drags so since the Civic is broken right now and you know can't drag race that and the Evo wagon build is still kind of going on still need to put back the engine but I'm not really gonna like drag race that Supra we already kind of know what it runs and uh, you know don't really want to go to the track and like beat up on it I think it would be a whole lot of fun to actually take this thing to the track and this is literally what everybody did growing up with, you know, their friends. This is just like hot rodding type stuff. So um, I've never messed with carbureted stuff. I'm baffled at how simple it is, uh, but also at the same time, I was talking to Greg earlier and he's, I was, he was talking about like how to adjust the floats and stuff. And I was like, no. And he was just like laughing. I'm like, I could program and, and tune a bunch of stuff on the Honda or not on the Honda, the ECU master and that thing make it do pretty much what I want, but I don't know what to do with these levers and screws and stuff on here. So let me know what you guys think of this C10 thing. I think it is a, it's a really rad car and I would really be curious to see, or I'm, I, we're gonna figure out what it's gonna run this, uh, this Friday night at the local drag strip. So again, we do have the C10 out here. Thinking that I'm giving up on this C10 with the frame swap and everything. Again, we did get it running with the 4200 in it. You can see it has the new steering column and all that type of stuff. And the plan is to still get this thing going. But as of right now, uh, needs the engine replaced. It is knocking. So I don't know. I uh, figure this will be fun. It'll be some quick stuff. So that way you guys have been wondering why I haven't been making any videos. And, uh, you know, I would say it's, it's mostly the giveaway that Supra needed more little things than we thought. And I thought I had all the parts for the Evo wagon engine and I didn't. So ordering stuff and working on that thing. So that's pretty much why it's taken me a little while. And then we got these freaking go-karts, which you guys will see that in probably a future video. But yeah, stoked on this thing. My brother, um, as you've seen, he, he was pretty stoked to drive it and we hit the freaking pothole and some other stuff. So we're gonna iron out some stuff with this thing tomorrow. Uh, hopefully Greg can help me figure out that cutting out issue. Take it to the freaking track. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think it's gonna run on Friday night. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Appreciate you watching.